You see, life was always a struggle for Stevie because she was physically disabled. But sadly, Stevie had another battle to fight. Her ex-boyfriend Chris and his current fiance, Kimberly, were both denying he was the father of Stevie's daughter. You are the father. I told you. I told you. Stevie finally proved to Chris and his fiance, Kimberly, that Chris is the father of her daughter, Ciciana. Backstage, Kimberly lost control of herself. And she even lost part of her top. Point blank, I mean, I'm gonna give him the chance, but I don't see it happening. After the show, these two young parents sat down alone with executive producer Paul Fallhaber. How far away do you live from her? Uh, over a thousand miles. Okay. To figure out how the paternity test result changes everything going forward. You know, I'm not one of these deadbeat dads that just doesn't care, but I just, now that I know she's mine, of course I'm gonna help out. You guys live a thousand miles apart, so she needs help in two ways. She needs financial help, that's something, but also for your daughter, your daughter needs to know who her father is. Well, yeah. So you gotta figure out, not the plan just for tomorrow, you gotta come up with a bigger plan for a month from now, a year from now. Set a goal, set a long-term plan, how you can get in her life. You two don't have to be best friends, but you gotta respect her for doing what she's been doing all, all alone. Oh, I do, I'm not. What's making you so upset? I'm just overwhelmed right now. Well, at least I you- I have no problem. Steve, look at me. Please don't touch me. I have no problem. Help. I'm being a part of that kid. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> that's sad. You know what? He's having an honest moment. I right know, now. but that's still sad. Why don't you tell him? CC honor. CC honor. Yes. I would love to be a part of her life. I would love. I'd love to be your father. Okay. Well, you have to start coming around then. He's gonna try. He's a thousand miles away. That's far. At least you know that he's gonna try in the long term, and in his mind, he's gonna make a plan. It's not gonna be easy. No one said it's easy, but it's gonna be worth it. This next time for the truth involves a 27-year family mystery. A man named Jose Jr. was desperate to find out if a man named Jose was his father. And as you're about to see, emotions ran high during and after the show. Jose was here with his son, Jose Jr. He's selfish. He doesn't care about nobody but himself. Because he didn't approve of the way Jose Jr. was treating people. Oh, My man. blood is a good blood. And blood. you, with the madness you got blood. in your heart. And that's why after raising him for 27 years, blood. he suddenly claimed he's not Jose Jr.'s father. Blood. It might have been the most heated paternity test of the year. He's a bad seed. <laughs> no. Bad seed. Two. We're here he for this. We couldn't be private. You were here for this. We couldn't be private. You doubted this for 27 years. He couldn't be private. Years. And the DNA results were unforgettable. Jose Sr., you are not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A 27-year father-son relationship was seemingly destroyed by the result. I was your only you son. Are. I was your only son. Now you, you got nothing. It's okay. Now you got nothing. I'd rather have nothing yeah, than have right. a garbage son like yeah, you. Yeah, right. Backstage after the show. Not mine. Yes, Not mine, dude. Not mine. 27 years. 27 years. Are you okay? No, I'm not, sir. No, I know you're not. Executive producer Paul Fallhaber checked in with an emotional life. Jose Sr. But like I said, I'm a man. I can eat it. I'll eat it. What about forgiveness? What about forgiveness? I ask God for forgiveness for every day for the way I feel for him. I do. Because I got to live with that for the rest of my life because I will not forgive him. You got to I will not forgive him. And then caught up with Jose Jr. Yeah, I'm just slowing down, man. All right. It's a lot to take in right now. You know, 27 years, you thought some guy's your dad. And no, I'm saying it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, we want to help you any way we can. Um, maybe we can get in touch with that guy and, and we'll find him. That would, that would be awesome, man. This next story is a classic case of he said, she said. Coda and Alicia had very different stories when it came to the paternity of Alicia's son, Thomas. 
Watch. He had planned to start a family. He says he slept with you twice. Alicia said Coda was the father of her son, Thomas. That's your baby. That's Ain't your no baby. Ain't no way in hell this baby lied. Look at that. Ain't no damn way that baby lied. No way. Look at that. Hell no. Hell yeah, it is. Before the DNA results came out, Coda made a shocking statement about raising baby Thomas. If this is your child, you will be in this child's life. Go. <laughs> One, she lives far away from you. Yeah. Two, I oh, wore two dots. I'm gonna okay. You always have been. But after the DNA results were revealed, Coda, you are the father. I told you. I told you. What? Would Coda change his views about being in Thomas's what? life? Now you're just gonna walk out like you have been? I'm telling you right now, this child needs a father. So you better think long and hard about this. Just don't give up automatically. Backstage, after the show. This is a walk out of his life? Executive producer Paul Fallhaber talked with Coda about how the decision he makes right now will affect the rest of Thomas's life. Let's talk about that boy. Like Maury just said, he will know the name of his father. He will know your name. He will know who you are. She told me before that she don't care if I'm there or not. She can do it all on her own. By all means, do it. If but you want to do it, do it. But she was angry. You have to do everything in your power to get in his life. Everything in your power. I would run <clears throat> a thousand miles for each one of my boys. I have three boys. I'd, I'd run a hundred miles barefoot just to see them. He needs to get to know you. You can do FaceTiming, you can do video chatting. Let him get to know you because he, he can become a statistic. He has such a better chance at succeeding in life with a dad in his life. And I actually think you could be a great dad. I could see it. You can't get those years out of your life back and neither can this kid. Life is tough. You are not the father. <laughs>